David, uh, I'm, I'm a CNNer, you're not. What was your interpretation objectively of, of his slam against CNNi? Yeah, I was, you know, Brian, I'm so glad you, uh, you constructed that the way you did at the top. I think CNN International is one of the great journalistic institutions in the world, and it's one of the few because CNN has spent the money to have a real infrastructure with bureaus and with reporters and with photographers at a time when so many other organizations, good organizations, had to cut back or felt they had to cut back and close bureaus. This is a lifeline to us into the world. This is a global lifeline. When there are massive human rights violations or a disaster, CNN International is the one source of information we can rely on to connect with that. And this is another way that Trump recklessly hurts us in the world. We need a supply of reliable information, global information, and nobody Nobody comes close to doing what CNN did, and God bless them for all the years when everybody else was cutting back and they were spending money to keep these bureaus open, and they do great, great, courageous coverage. I mean, the, the, the foreign correspondents for CNN who stand on a battlefield, I mean, my God, you see them getting hit in the head with, with uh, those rubber bullets they shoot on their helmet. They're standing there reporting these stories to us. And this guy wants to mock him. This guy who never served in the military, never got near a battlefield, wants to mock CNN. He doesn't understand what he's doing when he tells autocratic, fascist regimes to crack down on CNN International. Mm -hmm. He does not have a sense. It's like a 12-year-old schoolboy talking crap in the schoolyard. And it's really a disgrace to us.